Hello guys, today another finished object and no, 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 it's not my hat, which is a leaf hat, check it out over here, but I knitted a matching shawl to this hat and it's not that I designed it, it's just that I used the same uh, yarn that I have, I use basically leftovers, let's face it. The shawl that I'm talking about is Amazing Shawl by Marcia Ibuki and it's called Homestead Shawl. Look how pretty! So hello guys, this is how it looks like and I think it's a matching set, isn't it? Love it! Right, I'm going to tell you about the tools I used and I don't have needles with me because I'm actually knitting with the needles, I presume. Anyway, what I'm going to show you over here, I'm going to show you a few photos that I normally take on Instagram because I like to share my adventures, my knitting adventure, and not only on Instagram, so check it out. And here how it is from some stages, I presume, I hope I took some photos. And you'll see needles that I used. What I use, I use this amazing bag, which I received from a viewer. Beautiful, I love it. I use a leftovers, which are here, and I still have some, and I was thinking that I've run out because some some sections I use different yarn. It's check on the screen now, Julie Asselin, I think that's how you say it, and this is the colorway is Jade, and you have all the information about the blend. And I received this amazing yarn from Diane, so thank you so much, Diane. I you see, you see, it's amazing. It was just a thread and now it's a hat and a shawl. I love it, thank you so much. And Diane and Marsha, so designer, they are both from Canada, so it's like my Canadian trip. I was afraid they would run out of it, so I mixed it with the drops and that was my also an idea for lace section, which is Drops Fable. And now the colorway 114 blend. Then what I used, I used some leftovers of um, this yarn, which is Woolcraft, here on the screen. Shade, blend information. But I knew that I'm going to run out with that, so I was mixing it with my uh, dyed yarn, which is Drops Fable. I just basically used some natural, uh, natural ingredients like berries or ivy fruits and uh, what else oh well anyway those two were me i i got this color i call it i think my dad's old jeans and i use that too do you need a markers for this i don't think i've used any um don't remember <laughs> i'm sorry well anyway on this on the photos again over here i may put some photos uh, did I use it or not? Uh, I think the pattern, oh my god, I was flying through a pattern. I would finish it in less than a week, but because I have other shawl, you can probably see it over here already, snow melt shawl, it's huge, it's amazing, it's enormous, and it takes loads of focus uh, to finish it, definitely, guys. So if you're still knitting it, you can do it. Right, so I wanted to kind of... So there was my breaking point, you know, this shawl is something that you can relax, enjoy for a bit, have a breather, uh, so that's what I that's how I treated it and basically I had to stop for a while and then continue it finish it which was easy peasy brilliant pattern um, this is my second pattern that I knitted from Marsha and I enjoy it I really do let me show you as you can see you could probably see that lovely green going through but somewhere around this point you can see that three repetitions are kind of darker gray and then this cream color come back to three repetitions of um, a lovely green and then we have a different gray slightly lighter gray so those uh, three last rows gather stitches go that way and they're a different gray and I have this beige I left some green to have this lovely um, green element to it which basically would match my hat see it's matching my hat and then I went with Fable and I finished with that amazing border it's big but fast how to explain this i love it anything with stripes definitely check it jody tracy i know you love it so go for it marsha marsha designs you have to basically have to 
What else? Um, I meant to say something, I forgot what. I know, I know, I know. Marsha is amazing. And that was my basically first thing that I wanted to do because before I received this amazing pattern, um, I was talking about knitting a shawl that I could use my leftovers. I don't have that many leftovers. I don't have that many minis. I basically maybe gathered six or seven, less than 10 minis from friends. But you know, it's something to have and fun and wear and be reminded and you can point it out and tell this is from that person, this is from that person. It, I think it's really cool. And I would love to do something like that in the future. So um, not saying with this shawl, because guys, as much as I would want to knit it twice, there's so many other designs that you just need to go for it. But if you haven't knitted and you're in a slump or you just need to have a breather or you just, your life is so busy that you're knitting, you don't want your knitting to be busy, check this pattern, it's really worth it. I really like it. And if you have loads of weenies or like leftovers, you can definitely adjust that because Marsha is amazing. She's just such accurate with everything. Whatever she does, uh, yeah, well, anyway, check her channel. She has a YouTube channel. I will leave that link down below with my project page. She has written down how many grams uh, you would need for certain sections because obviously this shawl starts from here and it just grows that way. So for each, a section in each row you will need gradually more yarn and she tells you all that. Amazing. That's my first uh, Marsha's design, uh, Narita shawl. Check it out over here again. I let her click on it. I give that pattern away to my mother-in-law so I just have to keep this one because yes. Flip around and enjoy. And now my final touches will be, um, I'm going to add my tags with my logo and a heart because it's from a heart and gift, I love it. Yeah, and I have another uh, Marsha's design which I want to cast on soon. Yeah, that's going to be a present for someone. So yes, so I'm going to do that and I will be back in a sec. Okay guys, it's done. I put gray over here and a lovely heart over here. So it's completed. I need to just put something on my hat too. Although I have buttons. So we shall see. I love these little touches. They give you like some professional touch, I think, at the end of the day. Uh, makes me smile with a heart. So check it out, knittingilove.com. And there's my show. Which is also my project page. Guys, go browse it through. Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed this one check instagram you find me over there um up to date with things i do and i hope to see you in the next one bye show me what you're knitting hashtag knitting i love <laughs>